Pesticides that can no longer be used become waste. Expired and unwanted pesticides can build up over time and present risks to the environment and public health. Here are a few guidelines on the proper disposal of pesticide containers. Do not reuse pesticide containers. All pesticide labels carry information on proper use and disposal. You are especially advised to never reuse pesticide containers to carry or store other items, especially food or drinks. Some containers can be placed in household disposal bins while others need specialized disposal. Disposal of pesticide waste depends on the facility that you have. For example, we have uh, large-scale farmers, the flower farms and large-scale vegetable, vegetable growers. We also have another category for manufacturers, repackers, agrovets, and uh, spray service providers and pest control operators. All those categories have different specifications for their disposal, depending on how much pesticide waste you generate from your facility. Do not burn or bury pesticide containers unless the label says so. Buried chemical waste can contaminate soil and leach into surface or groundwater, while burning pesticides and containers may release highly toxic fumes. Do not pour leftover pesticides down the sink, into the toilet, or down a sewer or street drain. Pesticides may interfere with the operation of wastewater treatment systems or pollute waterways. Currently, we have two companies that have been licensed to, to, to manage, or rather not really to manage, but to dispose pest control products waste, whereby the only method that, that is used, which is very effective, is in its narration. And for the agrovets, for example, it has been a challenge for, the, uh, for, for disposal of waste, but we have been advising the agrovets to, to collect all the, the empty containers from the farmers and hand them over to pest control products board during, during inspections, and we are, ready to, we are ready to facilitate that. It is recommended to only send triple rinse pesticide containers to sanitary landfills or recyclers. Triple rinse the container with clean water puncture it and flatten it and dispose of it as per national or county regulations. The rinse it should be deposited directly into the spray tank mixture being prepared at that time. Identify a small section of the farm that shall be left uncultivated and set aside for the purpose of pouring small quantities of rinse it from cleaning of PPE and knapsack. You can also construct a soak pit that's specially dug for this purpose. Pesticide residues that are allowed to harden and congeal on the surfaces of the container or its cap are much more difficult to remove. They often require physical abrasion and much more rinsing liquid. Rinsing immediately when the pesticides are still liquid is quick and easy. However, never puncture a pressurized aerosol container as it may explode. The cleaning of containers has many advantages, therefore it should be encouraged. Rinsing saves money. The environmental advantages are a properly rinsed container minimizes the risks of contamination to soil, surface water, and groundwater. Farmers should attend available training on good agricultural practices and pesticide use within their counties. Remember, proper usage of pesticides leads to a healthy and wealthy nation. Food safety is everyone's responsibility, starting with the farmer. Dawabora Mazaubora.